Hi guys and welcome to the next video on my channel. Now today's video isn't going to be a true crime video because I've not had time to do any research. The move into the new house hasn't gone as smoothly as we were hoping. Well, just as I thought, trash. We've had to move back out again. So this is why I'm in a different location because I'm at my nan's. My mom's left me and jetted off to Lanzarote. The entire house needs a new rewire because the last person who's lived there has completely botched the electrics and we're lucky we didn't fry in the first week living there. Anyway, today's video is going to be on how I cope with my cat allergies because I know that a lot of people suffer from cat and dog allergies like myself. I'm a lot more allergic to dogs than I am to cats which really upsets me because I just love to have a pet without being severely ill every time I see them. We have a cat called Riley, we rescued her last Christmas and although my mum's gotten used to it with her allergies, unfortunately I haven't gotten used to mine so I've found lots of ways to deal with mine. Now if you're anything like me and you have a very overly sensitive immune system, thanks body, you end up looking like this every time you go near your cat or dog. And I spend 99% of my time at home with the cat taking pictures of her, which is why I always end up ill. If you hear anything in the background, that's my cat drinking water out of a glass because she will only drink water out of a glass. She's spoiled. My first tip is to try and keep a room in the house pet free so that when you're really, really having bad allergies, you can just go there for a break. It's a bit hard at the moment with us moving house, which is why I've been a bit more ill, but usually I keep my bedroom cat free so that when I'm having a bad day, I can just go in there and have a space where there's no pet dander or sliver or fur or anything like that. Another tip I have, which is a bit harder in the winter, but in the summer, try and make sure that the house is aired through. If you keep the windows open, your allergies won't react as much. If you have asthma, like me, and you end up sounding like Darth Vader every time you go near your cat, I would really, really, really suggest going to your doctors and asking for a stronger inhaler. I went to my asthma nurse at the doctors and was telling her about how much I wheeze when I'm around my cat or around my boyfriend's dogs, and she gave me a stronger inhaler and it's called Simbacort 200 over 6. That's my cat there. Uh, and Honestly, since I've been taking this stronger inhaler, I have hardly wheezed around my cat. I still get a bit breathless, but I haven't been wheezing as much and it's been an absolute lifesaver. I also went to my doctors and I asked for stronger allergy tablets because I've been told about this. I've been taking the standard ones that you can just buy over the counter or in the shop and they just weren't doing anything for me, uh, which is really annoying when people are like, well, why don't you just take an allergy tablet? I've tried that, I'm not stupid, it just doesn't work. So I got prescribed fexafenidine hydrochloride, which I actually saw suggested in another video by an American lady who's done something similar to this. Uh, and you can get loads and loads of different brands. It's dead simple and easy to take. And since taking that, I still have my allergies, but they're not half as bad as they used to be. The only thing that my allergies really affect now is my eyes, which is what we're getting on to now. So I take Oaktrex eye drops and you, there's loads of different varieties of these and you can just buy them over the counter. They range from about three to five pounds. And with these, you can just take these and they come in different bottles. This is the one I've got at the moment. And it's just two or three drops in your eyes when they're flaring up and as long as you get it early enough before it starts to flare up properly you can stop the allergies so you don't have to walk around looking like you've been in a fight with your cat. Another thing I'd really 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 highly suggest people do is get one of these uh, eye masks that are covered in like gel beads and what you do you can either pop this in the microwave, the fridge or the freezer whatever works best for you and just wear it on your eyes for five or ten minutes when you feel them starting to itch or get irritated and it stops if I catch it early enough it stops my symptoms completely with my eyes it's been an absolute lifesaver uh, I'm not gonna pop it on my eyes now because it'll ruin my makeup but I don't know what I'd do without that at all because my eyes are just terrible around my cat. 
If you can't afford to get one of those, although they are quite cheap on eBay, I think I got that for £2.50 or something along those lines, you could use a wet tea towel or a wet flannel uh, and just dab that on your eyes. Just make sure it's really, really soaking wet and that also helps to relieve your symptoms. Now, it might sound a bit obvious, but another tip would be to go for a bath or a shower and just steam out all of the allergies in your eyes. It really, really helps with my eyes and nose. If you can't go for a bath or a shower, you can steam it out by filling a sink with hot water and sticking your head over it with a towel over your head so that the steam goes into your eyes and your nose. <laughs> um, I got laughed at for doing this a lot at university when I had a cold, but it genuinely works. Another thing that I want to add on the eye drops, you can also get a spray. I suggest just trying different ones to see which one works. I think the spray is slightly more expensive compared to the eye drops. It's just whether you can put eye drops in or not. And another thing I've got, I've got glasses and I don't need to wear them all the time, but if I wear them around my cat, my allergies don't get as bad because the dander isn't getting into my eyes. But also in the summer, sunglasses are a lifesaver. You just pop those on, it's fine. Your eyes don't flare up, well mine don't anyway. So that's how I deal with my cat allergies. It doesn't get rid of them 100% and I have days that are better than others. But taking these steps has really, really helped me so that I can actually come downstairs and be part of my family house without being severely ill. I can also now take pictures of my cat and force people to look at pictures of my cat because if I love her, you love her too, okay. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any tips yourself that I can try that might help me with my allergies, please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and the next video I upload will be a true crime video, I promise. See you in the next one. Come on then. Come on, who's this?